David put it this way, Psalm 69. Those who hate me without a cause are too many to count. They attack me with lies. They make fun of me. I am the favorite town gossip. It's the same way today. People can dislike you without a cause. They don't even know you. They just pass you by at the office. They've never been to lunch with you, never heard your story. It'd be one thing if they knew you and didn't like you, but they judge you from a distance. They don't like you because you're happy, because you're successful, because you're talented, because you're a different nationality. Like with David, they'll attack you behind your back and try to belittle, discredit you. These are tests that we all must pass. Are you going to get offended and try to straighten them out? Are you going to take that bait and get involved in a battle that you're not supposed to fight? Stay on the high road. They don't control your destiny. They're a distraction trying to lure you off course to get involved in something that's not between you and your destiny. One of the best things we can learn to do is ignore it. Don't pay it any attention. That's how you leave it in the hands of God. And this is what David did. He went on to say, they hate me, they attack me, they make fun of me, but I keep right on praying to you. He was saying, I don't give it the time of day, I just keep on praising. Well, Joel, what they're saying is not true. What if they tarnish my reputation? I'm asking you to put your reputation in God's hands. He said that he would protect it. And the more successful you are, the higher you go, more people will come against you. Like with David, talk about you without a cause. Everybody loved you until you got that promotion, till you moved into that new house, till you married that beautiful girl. Now the critics have come out of the woodwork. You have to let your defender go to work. You have to be still and know that he is God. It's easy to get all stirred up, thinking about how you can pay them back, what the best strategy is to get even. Can I tell you what it is? Be still. Leave that case in God's hands. God said in Jeremiah, I will defend you. I will be your lawyer. I will take on your case.